I mean, they're definitely going to try to steal the runes first. Let's see if they can get three runes here. Uh, oh. <laughs> they see King RD. Oh, here come the Blink Bros, though. Games. This ain't going to be pretty if they can get the full cutoff, but... Can they able to get back to the tower? They're going to toss up the Shaker. He comes flying in, summons the Treants. Tower doing what it can, but Miracle. Oh, will the Treants get the kill? No, blink away, baby. And Jerex is like, clearing the creep behind. Like the opening S off, I mean, you start behind and you, you deal with the creeps first. If only chat wheels could kill, <laughs> then this game would be even more bloody. I mean, those, those blinks are powerful, but... It, the Nines are just so good right now, also, you know, they're staying the in the lane. They're going to farm at this area. They're going to plant all their towers here. They're going to okay. farm the lanes, farm the neutrals. Mid is, mid is closed for business. <laughs> as long as you don't tank too much tower damage. Oh, that's going to be a salty tinker. Wait, so they can kill him. They can use the Fissure. Fissure and tip. Fissure plus tip. They're going to try for it. Big rotation coming through. S triple C there with the toss. Can they finish him off? Lich down for the count. And now they look for more. Envy just letting the towers do the heavy lifting. Arteezy dancing all around them. The tips come raining down. But they stay alive for now. Stun blinking out. It gets two nonetheless. And this is just, this is not in a assailable position, Winter. These towers are too strong. They'll try. But they're running low on tips at this point. They might get one kill here. The Lich caught out, finished off with an auto attack from Miracle Shaker. But now Jerax caged in with the bear. KP will get the hill, doing what he can. Arteezy lobbing out the stun. And this is this is pretty cheeky play, I gotta say. They're all ancient, so they're gonna get a lot of farm from this. They're just gonna pull the creep. Tower's gonna hit the creep Dyer's and just keep farming it. And attack. they can't access this area. Dyer's structures are fortified. They have more pocket towers available. Like, should should they consider doing something to the the other side of the map as well, or is this is this enough lane disruption? I think this is enough. Uh, whereas for the other team, they, they should be looking to go back to the lanes and farm. Though they're, they're not farming the map, they're not using the map right now. Fighting here is not going to do them good. I, I don't know if we've we've fully taken in the neutral camps here, but they this are is definitely some Jackie Mao idea right here. Yeah, he spent a, a lot of time prepping for this. Arteezy just watching him, <laughs> unable to assist, and uh, well, that's a Jackie Mao play too. Uh, the the tip to secure the kill. Oh, he's gonna TP down. Oh, you can actually TP to the towers. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh my god. This pocket towers is even stronger than we realized. And what could the blink daggers do here? You can't, you don't want to blink into those. We've already seen what happened. I mean, they're playing for the long run. The blink dagger is going to allow you to get the runes, you know, move around, farm the map. Well, they've abandoned their strategy. It seems back to the runes for now. We'll see if they reassemble, but they are leaving the mid lane completely empty in the meanwhile. As Triple C getting his experience. King RD's been doing a bit of split pushing. Up in the top side of the map as well. They still have three towers remaining. So they can probably try and, you know, secure another area with those towers. And farm with the elk. It feels like they've they've really put a lot of effort into the strategy, whereas it's more just bloodlust here for S Triple C. Flicking straight onto the Alk. The tips coming out, the defensive heal plays. And now revving up the sun, S Triple C. Standing his ground, gets the stun, cancels the TP, Fissure comes through, and down goes Arteezy again. Looking rather squishy on his Alchemist. No assistance from this Nature's uh, Prophet I yet. just can't wait for them to use the Glyph. I think it actually works. You can use the Glyph to, to stop the damage from the tip. Are they going to Roche with the tower here? They're going to TP in more heroes? Now remember, he drops the pocket Roshan. So if they're able to take him down early, this could be a big advantage. But it's going to take a while. But it, it, and I, it doesn't one, look just like... Just one minute, right? The pocket Roche. Yeah, and it doesn't... I, the tower does not hit the Roche. I'm not sure if they realize that. Or this doesn't appear to be hitting him. As Arteezy gets tossed back, but we'll go in Viz for now. Jerex still kind of moving nearby. Dangerously low. Eating the acid spray damage. Kinar D finally decides to leave his lane. Come join the fun in the middle lane. And uh, the Roche is slowly, slowly being worked down here. But at the same time, how are they actually going to breach this position with the power here? Ah, Envy just getting tip after tip to try and keep him up in fighting shape in the pit. This is not your old Roshan at Roche. Or uh, Ursa at Roche, I should say. Jerax dances around. 
Looking for the opening here, Lanham. Dangerously low though, they're, I think they're pretty much out of tips as the March is gonna finish off the Ursa too, so they've now fed away a couple additional kills. Seven to two the score. They're no longer really taking advantage of their original towers. Yeah, and he used the tip to secure the kill as well. Oh. Salt in the wound. <laughs> well, it will be if this keeps up. Pycat going for the uh, all Wraith Bands build here. You don't need boots when you've got the blink. The super blink. Yeah, that's true. Your Admiral is on board. And they're gonna scout out Lanham, but the push is also coming a bit towards the top side of the map. Where Envy's decided to finally join the team. So they've abandoned the Bounty Rune play bottom. They've yep. abandoned the Rochan play. They've blown most of their pocket towers. It ain't looking great right now for the Canadian boys. They didn't even get any single rune in yeah, five minutes. Not yeah, remember, this is also Team Rune, so they've pretty much failed to take advantage of any of their abilities, and they've used all of their tips, more or less, it seems. And it seems like these towers are wasted here, because you can't really move them around, and if you're not fighting here, these towers are essentially just doing nothing. They're looking pretty, Winter. And that's not nothing. I guess this one is fine around the rune area, Radiant's having the other tower, tower at the rune area. That's triple C. I guess it. Do, do they give you the vision? I, I believe they do, right? So, so that is one other benefit. They're very tanky wards. RTZ trying to duke it out here. Lops off the stun, but he's just Radiant's not doing enough damage right now. Attack. And all the while, the aggression comes as the tips brain in, and there's no heals this time around. Go home, Envy, they say. He's down again, 9-2. to two. Still no The counter tips! The rage tips! But KP is Radiant's able to soak it up. And now he's just gonna Radiant's shrine it away, so uh... Fortified. Some more wasted tips. Radiant's top tower is under attack. I have another... I'll have a look here at Arteezy. <laughs> that man's having fun. Radiant's bottom tower is under Well, we attack. are in North America, and it, it wouldn't be an NA All-Star match oh, without some cool. team cool. playing, which is exactly what we're getting now. But King RD is going to bring some support from Lanham to this top lane. They'll go for the stomp. Miracle, though, standing his ground for now. Four heroes ganging up on him, but the team clip keeps him alive. That's triple C, rushes back in, gets off the toss kill. Now slowly just lurching away. Can they finish him off, though? Remember, he's going to have that blink coming in soon. Miracle body blocks him in to certain doom. No, he blinks out. It actually pays off. It's a team play in the end. He did the math. Finish school, kids. That's why the old bling dagger is so good. All the heroes. <laughs> Everybody's having fun, even if uh, even if they're not winning. That's so what yeah, we all the camps, all are the ancient camps. Yeah, he can't actually farm the camps as well. Yeah, they're all extremely tanky neutrals, <laughs> and they're not really prepared to take advantage of this. They have to give him a lane to farm and to protect him. There's no other way this right now. Uh, I wonder. I they wonder if this. Have boost of travel. I wonder if this was a response to the the draft where RTZ said he wanted to drop his tower to farm. They're like, all right, well, we'll just make them all ancients, and then RTZ is truly screwed. Valve uh, has a sick sense of humor, perhaps. I mean, they pretty much have to wait for Lanem to get a uh, more level so he can actually make space right now. Is it all over for the Radiant? C can they come back, Winter? Is there a hope? Oh, there's a hope of RTZ for dinner. Yeah, he gets tossed back in. And the Tagalog taunts come flying out once more. They have to secure the Roshi, huh? For, for MV. They still have two towers. They, have to, they can use it to Radiant's secure the Roshi later. Get, get more levels on the Ursa. He's I mean... gonna have the, the Morbid Master. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna try the Roshi again. You know, the problem is with these super blinks, they don't have that many stuns. Like, Sprout is dang useless right now. That's why I told you that that would, that would be the ability that I would pick first. The super blink is actually the most OP one here. Is under attack. And they did the ability draft first, so you know what you're getting into. <laughs> now back to the jungle for TZ. He's just a simple boy, wants to farm up. <laughs> but these neutrals are absolutely monstrous. And he has to last hit them. Yes. Good luck, Artur. You'll need it. 
Oh, he still gets the gold? He got the gold. Radiance bottom tower. I think if he's tower, he gets the creep, he still gets the gold. Dyer are scanning. It's still slow going here. Meanwhile, action elsewhere. It's King RD gonna retreat to the safety of his tower, but in comes Miracle. Wham, bam, and thank you, ma'am. Takes down two. Might look for the Lanham kill as well. He's got that blink out if he needs it. Uh, we'll be recalled back to the safety of the high ground, it appears. Still bonky wins for All right. This reminds me of him playing Alchemist back then. Was it TI5? Oh, the game three! The game three when they were pushing the high ground and he's still farming. Is this whole thing just designed to be a living nightmare for Arteezy? Is Valve trying to break him? They are! <laughs> Ice Frog sends the command and the neutrals okay, Jackie Mouse here to obey. He's doing Roshan, tanking with the illusions. <laughs> Two towers set up in the area. He has cross armor on the Lich. <laughs> this is some Jackie Mouse shit right here. That, that look on King RD's face was the look of a man who uh, is trying to hold it in. We'll see how much longer he can as the kills continue ramping up here. Another aggressive dive in mid, the Blinks securing more, but finally they'll get their prize, Roshan. They committed heavily, but Shelby theirs, and let's see, who got the... Uh, they have the pocket Roshan. Who got the pocket Roshan? Okay, all right. Is he gonna, is he gonna drop it to the farm neutrals? That's the question. You drop it to win What's the team play? Fight. Team fight, win a team fight with it. All right, he's gonna be a team player. He heads top. Ready to go. Meanwhile, towers are crumbling. Bottom Radiant's tier two has fallen. Pycat just sieging away. The mid tower also in danger, and Envy might get caught out here. Gets pushed back by Jerex straight into the totem of Miracle. Follows up with the fissure, with the avalanche, with the toss. See you later. Envy dead again. Why does the alchemist have this Aegis and he's bombing? <laughs> this is a comeback game, Winter. Radiant's you don't understand. Is under attack. Comeback game? He's just okay. Sure. Oh, that's Radiant's why he wants the Aegis. <laughs> He's gonna need it too. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. I think of it's, all the players, KP is the one having the most fun. He has boots of travel on Tinker and Blink. And and, and, and you can be super Radiance aggressive because you can always blink oh, you're out. You're gonna die because you can always blink. Yeah, you can rearm. You can always blink out. And they barely have any stuns. They've this, got what? This is actually broken. Yeah. They, hey, they drafted yeah. smart. Yeah. Give them credit. Aegis down. Arteezy coming back for round two. What can he do this time around? King RD, very low. He summons the Roshan and the intimidation tactics are there. And now it's time for the Roshan dance. Arteezy say, help me man, help me rock lord, but help is not forthcoming. Wait, who's the Rosh actually chasing? <laughs> oh, it's chilling. It's just a simple Rosh. Just wants to have a little fun. Dancing with his little brother as Triple C. Envy tries to get the actual aggression going, but he's immediately lasered. Now the score 19 to 3. We are closing in on that magical number. Only two to go. I mean, it's pretty clear that one, one team strat not working at all. <laughs> the farming jungle strat. So, who do you blame for this? Do you blame King RD for not showing up to the draft? Do you blame the ones who were there for the picks they made? You blame Arteezy for feeding. You definitely blame Arteezy for All right, let's throw him under the bus. <laughs> Get it together, Artor. Two more kills. Well, now one pocket tower used a little more offensively here. They're gonna desperately try to go down mid. And if nothing else, they may just allow the dire squad to end it sooner. Missile splashing in, Lanham standing his ground. He used to be a hero on this Kunkka, but his team just crumbles around him. The old man falls, and the only one left standing is the lonely lich. The GG's come out. The six GG. I don't know if it ends. The fake GG. Uh, is this the, the CG? Ar Arteezy's torture chamber has no end. It's like, get me out of this game, man. Dire victory. All right. Mercy was had by the gods Dota this day. <laughs> 3 to 25, Winter. I mean, you gotta give them credit with the Tinker refreshing the blink. That, that one is like, I think, the, the OP strat here.